welcome to the Neuropathy Support Group Podcast. I'm Chris, and my hope is with this podcast is to help all of us gather information that might help those that need support dealing with the issue of neuropathy. Hello and welcome to this podcast. Before we get started, let's get the formalities out of the way with the medical and privacy disclaimer. I am not a doctor or medical professional. The information on this podcast is from personal experiences and is meant for group support. Additionally, the information discussed is not meant to diagnose, treat, or cure any underlying conditions associated with neuropathy. All names here within are private and will not be shared with any outside sources. Please consult your health care provider before making any health decisions. If you have medical concerns or an immediate emergency, please contact your doctor or dial 911. Well, good morning to everybody, and I hope you're feeling great. Today is actually Thursday. Uh, usually I put my broadcast out on Mondays, but there's a reason for it. And, of course, the one reason why I knew this was going to happen So since I already put out an episode 5, this one's going to be a 5.0 episode. But here's the issue. Remember I told you last week I was going to order that hemp emu and that CBD product from uh, Fleur Marche? Well, they haven't came in, just like I thought. So it's not really fair if I start something on Thursday and give you my reaction to it on Monday. So what I've decided to do is just go over a quick couple of products that I already use that help me out. And, you know, I'll post these on my Facebook page. And that way you can see the products that I use that I feel work for me. So let's start off with the uh, shoes that I got. They're ortho feet shoes. And I really wasn't happy with them. And the reason is because I still... When you buy a pair of shoes at this price, you feel like you should be slipping your feet into a pillow. Well, that wasn't true with these shoes. Now, the shoes themselves come with two sets of spacers. One is one sixteenth, the other one's one eighth. One helps if your shoe is too loose, the other one helps if your foot slips out the back. Then that's when you would use either one of these. And I did do that. I tried both, but I decided just to use both together at the same time, which... It has worked out somewhat. I'm still not really happy with them, but, you know, it's the only thing I got right now, so I'll be using those. Now, when it comes to the compression socks, I have um, gone through different kinds, and this one I tried because I like the way that it, the support, it went all the way up my leg, didn't have to worry about slipping down all the time, you know, with the, um, having to have to keep pulling them up and down, up and down. It just gets tiring doing that. So these compression socks, um, you know, were suitable for runners, joggers, and basketball, CrossFit athletes, and hiking, trekking. So that kind of threw me off that I should have looked for that because I was looking for something where it can be long-term, where I can wear them 24 hours a day and not have any issues. And to me, I think these compression socks that I got are for sports, you know, people that are activities all the time. Because they sure didn't work right for me. Um, I felt like they were cutting off my circulation. I also noticed that when I wear another pair of compression socks like these, they tend to uh, start hurting the, my lower back. And I have pain there. And I take them off and then the pain's gone. So, you know, I don't, I don't think I was too happy with these. I'm going to have to look for some more different kinds. This one's supposed to have also that copper lining in it, and it didn't do any good for me. And I believe I've talked about this before, that I do wear compression sleeves on my legs and on my arms. But since I have a tendonitis now, I also wear the braces on my hands, and those work the best, let me tell you. My fingers don't hurt anymore. I don't have to keep popping them all the time to make them feel better. Um, yeah, this was the right move for me, and I'm glad I saw the doctor on that. So what I expected to happen, happened. One of the products that I was going to review this week has just came in the mail. So 
I still gotta wait for the other one before I go that far and start doing the uh, review on both products, but just letting you know, one of them came in today, and matter of fact, that company's from Los Angeles, so I'm not sure if anybody um, can order from them, but they do have several, several different cannabis products that um, you can uh, try and use, and of course, you gotta purchase them, but like the one that I bought was like $60, so they are high-end products they are expensive i just don't know how well they work yet until i try it out on monday so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop there and on monday i'll go ahead and post my regular uh podcast that way you can i can tell you the product that i'm going to be testing for that week uh, what it's made up of and how i hope it's going to work for me so thank you for being with me today on this short uh podcast and we'll talk on monday Okay then. Well, it looks like our time has come to a close for this episode. But you can find the episodes on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and iTunes. This might hope these podcasts and other sources, such as product reviews that we discussed today, can help better our lives and give us some relief dealing with neuropathy. Be strong, be safe, and don't give up. And also remember, it does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you don't stop. Talk to you next Monday.